with all of these old things, uh, especially if nobody else is using them. <laughs> um, there is a song that a lot of people hear, which is No, Alla Breeder. Alla Breeder, yeah. Alla Breeder, Yeah, that's kind of one of the anthems of the, uh, the Yiddish movement. I was a little put off by, by the, in the beginning of the film upstairs, it said, the lost, in, in the lost language of y Yiddish, you know, it's not lost. You know, there are hundreds of thousands of people in the world who speak Yiddish, and it's going to outlive all of us. It's, it's lived through worse than the mid-20th century. It's, it's lived through a lot. And it's, it's a really great language and culture. And, and it, it's not a culture. It's, uh, I had a teacher who said, says, Nishto ken Yiddish kultur, faran Yiddish kultur. There is no such thing as Jewish culture. There are Jewish cultures. And, and even within the world of Yiddish language culture, there are many, many different shades. And uh, they've, they've lived with each other and fought with each other for hundreds of years. And um, ever since the 1970s, there's been a, a real movement. We call it the Klezmer Revival, but it's the Yiddish arts and culture revival uh, that's been going on all over the world with certain centers. Uh, and um, it's been, it's a wonderful family. It's become one of my families. And uh, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that there are a few Yiddishists here in Detroit, because I, I didn't know any when I was here. Um, and uh, yeah, I, so my first engagement with the Yiddish language was as a, a singer and a songwriter. I started translating songs, uh, not out of any sense of nostalgia, I'm not particularly interested in the past per se. I'm interested only in the in the past in so far as we are still in it. That that we are still connected to it and that it still informs everything that goes around us. It goes on around us. Um, and I'm interested in in the ways in which these old songs describe the contingency of the past, the contingency of history. The, the, the various futures that these songs point to, that for one reason or another didn't come into being, but which I still find incredibly useful in our contemporary predicament. Um, yeah, um, yeah, that's different. That, that's, that's, yeah. Let me do a song. Uh, let me, I guess we could do this by, uh, by instrument. I'm going to switch you around a little. You want accordion or ukulele? Ukulele. <laughs> ukulele. <okay. laughs> um, I already mentioned Adrienne Cooper, and some of you here know her, or knew her, I should say. Sadly, she, she passed very suddenly and untimely a little over a year ago. And she was uh, one of, uh, she was probably the most important person in this revival, uh, if I had to pick one. Certainly one of the very few who, who really brought Yiddish culture to several new generations. Uh, and she, she taught me a lot. She was a good friend. And uh, this is a song that I learned, actually originally didn't learn it from her. I learned it from someone else, but then I brought my translation to her. And, and it, I, I associate this song with her. She sang it a lot. She even sang my translation a few times. Can you guys hear the U? <laughs> this is a song that was written 100 years ago in New York by a guy named Morris Rosenfeld, who was born in uh, Lithuania. And he was known as the, the poet of the sweatshops. He was a, a great um, poet and writer and revolutionary. And he, uh, he wrote this song, and it's called Manruo Plots. Mich 
i mirken grinen Du findest mich dort nicht mein Schatz Und werden so alten bei Maschinen Dort ist mein Ruheplatz Dort ist mein Ruheplatz Don't look for me in nature's greenery. You will not find me there, my dear. My lives are wasted by machinery. That is where I rest, I feel. Don't look for me where birds are singing, enchanting songs. Find not my ear, for in my slavery, Chains are ringing, is the music I do hear, not where the streams of life are flowing, I draw not from these fountains clear, but where we reap what greed is sowing, hungry teeth and falling tears. Your heart must love me truly, join it with mine and hold me near. Then will this world of toil and cruelty die in birth of Eden here? Und liebst du mir mit wahrer Liebe, to komm zu mir, mein guter Schatz, und heit reu. Mein Herz du strieben und mach mir sie's mein Ruheplatz und mach mir sie's mein Ruheplatz.